Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you about Oppo's budget tablet, the Oppo Pad Air. This device has actually been released for slightly more than a month now, but I only recently got my hands on it, so hence uh, this video is only coming out today. Now with that said, this device is going for RM1099 here in Malaysia, and that sets you back for 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal memory. But the good news here is that we do have micro SD expansion. I'm going to go straight into that. You can pop in your own memory cards up to 512 GB. I'm not sure if you go to one terabyte, but essentially you can increase the size of your memory for the Oppo Pad Air. I think that is awesome. All right, so now that we've got the pricing out of the way, what is this device really all about? Is this a budget tablet that you should consider? Well, let's find out. First things first, let's talk a bit about the design. We have a very unique design here for the Oppo Pad Air. Notice that on one side, you do have sort of a textured back panel here, and on the other side, it's completely clean and very smooth to the touch. I kind of like this design. It makes it, you know, stand out a little bit more without being too flashy. It's quite nice here, actually. The entire build and materials used does feel quite premium as well. I'm not sure what the exact material is, but it definitely feels something like, you know, aluminum or something like that. So it feels great in my hand. Apart from that, we have this very slim profile here, guys. Check this out. This is only slightly more than 6 millimeters, and in this price range, the Oppo Pad Air is actually the slimmest tablet out there, so that's also awesome. Now, what is even more awesome is the weight of the Oppo Pad Air. Having the Air name means it's really lightweight, and it's only 440 grams, guys. I'm trying to stop moving the device from my hand here because it's really just so lightweight. Now, being very lightweight has a couple of benefits because if you're going to use your tablet for long periods of time, you won't really feel the strain on your hands. It's also more manageable one-handed and overall, I think this weight is actually the sweet spot for tablets of this size because you can, again, use it for long periods of time without straining your hands. Apart from that, let's look at the size, guys. It's actually holdable with one hand as well and my hands even even that large, so it's, that's also great about the Oppo Pad Air. Now, speaking of the size, let's talk about the main star of the show here and that's actually at the front, which is the display. Oppo is saying that we have a 2K display here. This is an LCD display. You don't have any fancy refresh rates. It's going at 60 hertz, but it's actually a very good display here because colors are great. Uh, brightness levels are also decent. And more importantly, it actually supports the white vine L1 security level. That means you can watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, all on HD. And that's really important because you're gonna to wanna to watch a lot of movies here. Apart from that, the entire experience is actually elevated by good audio quality because we have a quad speaker setup here that is Dolby Atmos certified and basically it gives you this sort of surround kind of audio experience whenever you're watching movies and I think that is great for not just watching your shows like I mentioned but also for playing games. Now since we are on the topic of playing games, I should also mention the processing power for this device and that is the Snapdragon 680. Now again, we have 4GB of RAM across the entire range but in terms of storage, you have 64 and 128 and again, Again, don't forget the fact that we do have that micro SD expansion so you can always increase that memory. Now just in terms of the user experience, you're able to do some light gaming. Of course, you're able to do some work here as well. Launching apps is going to be fairly all right. It's not the quickest out there, but for this price range, the Snapdragon 680 is actually quite a decent processor. Apart from that, there's one feature that I really like about the Oppo Pad Air and that is the multi-screen connect. Essentially, what this does is you can actually turn on a toggle on the Oppo Pad Air and it will start to detect devices around you. And if you do happen to have one of those supported devices, it will be able to cast your smartphone screen onto the tablet. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, basically, you'll be able to control your smartphone screen directly from your tablet itself. You can transfer files to and from the tablet directly through, you know, just swiping on your tablet, and that is actually quite awesome. Apart from that, you also have the clipboard sharing, and this basically means you can copy links that are already on your phone and share them directly to your tablet. So it's a really nice, seamless connection between your phone together with your tablet. And I think that is pretty awesome. Apart from that, you also have the split screen kind of you know uh, feature on the Oppo Pad Air. To activate it, it's very simple. You just drag down your fingers, two fingers from the top, and then you can actually split the screen. Now, moving on to the final point, let's talk a bit about the battery in here. While we do have a very slim profile with the Oppo Pad Air, it is actually housing a 7,100 mAh battery. It supports 18 watt fast charge, and the battery itself is actually quite long lasting. So I have been testing this device out, and I noticed that on normal use, you are actually able to stretch the battery life to three days on one single charge. And I think that's actually quite impressive considering you are doing a lot of entertainment, you know, just doing a bit of work on the Oppo Pad Air. So pretty impressive battery life here. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, who is this tablet for? 
Well, for the price of RM1099, I think it really caters to most people out there. You can be a student who is looking for something to do your work on. I think this is great. You could be like a parent or maybe, you know, just uh, yourself, for example. If you like to watch movies, you know, you want to watch movies on the larger screen, you want to watch in HD, you want to enjoy that quad stereo speaker setup, you want to have a long battery life. I think this is actually something that you can consider for your media entertainment on the go. Now, with that said, thank you for watching till the end. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.